Hello, Floss Tube. Welcome to Daisy Case Primitives. My name is Christy, and today we're going to get into some plans that I have plans, for possibilities for the next year, 2023. I want to get some uh, some more seasonal smalls done, and I tend to like to stitch in the season. And I talked in my other kind of planning video at the end of the year, 2022, um, as I was organizing and trying to get a better grip on what I wanted to do this year, uh, I want some more smalls and I tend to be a seasonal stitcher and that causes me to not get as much done ahead of time to use them in my decorating. So the plan this year is I'm gonna be working on seasonal smalls all throughout the year. And, and this is the idea. No, there's no cross stitch police, but yet there are. This is not a definite nailed down, strict abide by plan. This is a guideline for me. Just help me focus and keep me on track so that I can potentially get more things done ahead of the season. So I'm gonna do a bit of a rotation. I'm still gonna work on my Monday or my morning black sampler stitches. And then I will work on my monthly samplers that I started last year. And then I will also be doing some smalls, maybe some medium sized samplers. So. On Mondays, I'm calling them Merry Mondays, and those will be Christmas or winterish stitches. Tuesdays are going to be Tombstone Tuesdays. And the plan for that is, um, when I was doing some Halloween stitching, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cute? Now, cute, I know this sounds morbid, but there's something about tombstone angels that are I think are cute and I think it's also the coloring they're mostly drab plain colors so I thought I would like to have a gathering of a bunch of different little tombstone angel pieces so I have gathered them up several pieces I have one from Country Rustic I have another one from Plum Street that I don't have cover photos to show you, but I have Tombstone Angel Frame Sampler from Stacy Nash Primitives. I wanna do that. I want them maybe different sizes. I want them maybe some to be framed, maybe some that I can stitch small enough that they can be like stand-ups or flat folds. That's the idea. And I wanna do a whole gathering together of them displayed. I have Prudence Wilkham, Tombstone Angel Carriage House Samplings, and Carolina Handley, Tombstone Angel Carriage House Samplings. And somewhere here, I started one. I'm not sure how many I want, Probably at least five. Nope, that's not it. Here it is. The one that I started this past week is Sarah Hook. Care Child Samplings. Very cute. Stitching this with DMC flosses. And this is on a 36 count Tobias by Seraphim. That's my start. This one's going to be, that's a good seven inches, maybe close to eight. This one's gonna be pretty wide, but not, not very tall. So I don't know how that one's going to end up, if it'll be framed, or if I can maybe finish it as a flat fold. We'll see. So, Tombstone Tuesday, that was my start, and I will keep working on that one until it is finished. Then on Wednesdays, I'm going to call Wooly Wednesdays, 
and I'm going to be working on some little applique pieces um, because I love that stuff. I've gotten kind of really focused on cross stitch. It's just easy, um, doesn't require a whole lot. You know, I can kit it up and I have it and it's right there by my chair. Um, but I have a couple of kits and a large kit and some smaller ones, but I did pull these out. I just recently got this from Buttermilk Basin. And this is a little kit called, these are simple circles, simple circles through the year. And this is a January. I don't know when these were put out, but it's the whole kit, all the wool, and you finish it to go on this little plate, which came with the kit and the plate stand. So right now in January into February, like I said before, I like to decorate with snowmen, snowballs, snowflakes, that kind of thing in my little gathering. So this is one on Wednesdays, which I didn't get started this past Wednesday. Um, that's one I want to do. And they have other ones that are round like this that you can attach to those little plates. Also, for Wooly Wednesday, I have had this. Let me pull this out of the bag. I've had this kit for several years. It's shameful I haven't done it, but it is Blackberry Primitives designed by Maggie Bananami, and it's called Homestead Bouquet. I love this. Love, love, love that. So that will be worked on on Wednesdays for Wooly Wednesday. And then Thursdays. Thursdays I'm going to call Thumper Thursdays, meaning, remember Thumper in Disney's Bambi, the little rabbit? I'm trying to be really cutesy with my wording, my titles for the day. So all I could come up with was for spring stitching, which will primarily be some rabbits. I have several rabbit patterns. All I could think of was Thumper. So Thumper Thursday will be spring potentially some Easter stitches. And Fridays are fallish Fridays, so that will be fall, autumn, scarecrows, pilgrims, crows. Um, then Saturdays, somebody else started this. I think it was, um, mm -mm -mm. can't think now, I'm sorry. I, if I come up with it, I will run it across here. Um, anyway, many of you may already know about uh, Melissa Pinker and Pumpkin. She has a blog and she's also on Instagram. And she so graciously and generously creates the cutest little cross-stitch patterns. And I've been collecting them for quite some time and printing them out. So what the, I want to do on Saturdays, which I'm calling Salt Box Saturdays, is um, stitch up a bunch of these. And I'll have them that I can put them in a dough bowl or basket or a tray or something, but I've just, I've wanted to do these for a long time. And so that's the plan. Now this has got a needle and thread and Floss flying everywhere, but the first one that I started out with, I don't think I have a cover photo. You can go to her blog, and I will try to remember to link it or put a link in the description box below. Several freebies. Um, but this one I started out with is called Winter Salt Box. You need to go, that's kind of the design. You need to go to her blog and uh, you know, let her know that you've been there on Instagram. And this is what I chose to stitch. This is on a 36 count vintage country mocha. And this is what I've started so far. 
so cute. So I will be creating those <clears throat> for the dough bowl. And then I lost my notes. Just a minute. So those will be salt box Saturdays. And then, oh my goodness, what did I do with them? had to go find my stocking pattern. So Sundays will be stocking Sunday. I've uh, admired these beautiful stockings from Carriage House Samplings for so long. And I just, I think they're so pretty. I love the style of them. Very kind of Quakerish primitive. But anyway, I accumulated a few and um, Kind of a toss up which one I will start first, but I'm thinking sampler stocking may be the first one that I do. Let's see, let's looks like there's potentially a little Adam and Eve man and woman, but I really love how that looks. Or truth and virtue stocking. So, Stocking Sundays, I will be working, Stocking Sunday, I will be working on one of those. I also have Primitive Stocking. I went ahead and bought all of these at the same time. Pennsylvania German Stocking, I really love this. I don't know that I will do it on that dark grayish linen. It's pretty though. Love that. And the other one that I have is Noah's Stocking. But Sundays will be stocking stitching. So that's the weekly rotation plan that I'm going to try to stick to just to help me get through getting some more seasonal pieces stitched and done ahead of time. Also, I did pull out a few things that I know I want to start. Will I finish? Don't know, but I, I do want to start them. Um, so I'll just kind of go through those charts here real quickly. This is Brenda Gervais salt box quilt sampler. Potentially want to start this with a friend. Uh, Shanda Stitching in Idaho is working on this one. I've always wanted that. So that's kind of prompted me to get it out. This is called Ohio Farmstead Pin Keep, Stacy Nash. Love that big peacock. Seeing her stitch really made me want to do that one. Also, I'm going to be working on O Tannenbaum by Brenda Gervais. Had this kitted for quite some time and I'm going to be stitching along with Shanda, stitching in Idaho to help maybe get this finished. I have it kitted. I don't know if there's linen in there or not. Yep, linen. What do I have? What is this? Picture this plus legacy. Don't know if I'll use that or not. It might get changed, but love that. And stitching it with someone else may motivate me to keep on with it. Mm, also, another one that I think I will be stitching with Shanda is Plum Street Samplers, A Merry Heart. have it kitted with Seraphim's, is it Old Stationery? It's either Old Stationery or Prairie Grass. And have the called for flosses. So that will be very pretty. I don't remember when 
that one's going to be started, but I have it all ready to go. In my bag that I made. So pretty proud of myself that I did that. I need to make some more. Okay, so the last few things are, are charts that I would like to start. We'll see if they get done. This is Plum Street Samplers Jack's Bash. Chessie and Me, Mary Lindsay, 1824. So pretty. Um, Brenda Gervais, Liberty House. Cute. And then two big ones. Carriage House Samplings, A Mind Independent and Free. Saw Carol Salt box on her floss tube that she did this one. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do that stitching in there. I don't, I don't know. Something about that that just kind of seems to throw it off for me. I don't know. Uh, once I get there, I'll decide whether or not I want to do that. But that's a big one. I love these long, narrow, thin samplers. So that is one that I will start. And then this one I have wanted to start for so long and I didn't, I hemmed the dot about it last year, including it in my sampler starts, but I didn't. But this one will definitely be started this year. This is Ragamuffin 3 by Shakespeare's Peddler, Peddler, Hannah's Sampler. This one's, the only thing typical about this that I like is that it's square. It's, there's no balance, no symmetry, which that's normally what I like. But there's just something about this that I love. I think definitely it's the border. Yes, it's square, but I don't know, there's just, I think it's the scene down here that I really, really am drawn to. So that will be another start for the year. So I think down to the bottom of my basket, piles everywhere, no avalanches, we lucked out. So we'll see how 2023 pans out, stitching wise. So. Thank you for stopping by and joining me, and I hope that you have a wonderful, productive, happy, peaceful 2023, and I will see you next time.